everyone, God bless. It's Chelsea here from Jesus is Truth. Um, there's something that's been really just all of a sudden on my heart, and um, it's amazing how the Lord works. I was thinking, oh, I'm going to rest because I'm quite tired. And then all of a sudden, there's just so much energy in me, and I'm feeling like I just, um, I'd like to share with you um, my experience. Uh, journey with Christmas, <laughs> um, whether we should or we shouldn't celebrate Christmas. Um, yeah, so like half an hour ago, I didn't even know that this was what I was going to talk about, but the Lord is uh, is pretty incredible, right? Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share with you um, the journey that I've been on so far, because a newborn babe in Christ, you can be pulled about a lot and... Um, I were, I am, <laughs> and I was for sure. Um, um, particularly with Christmas, um, I was looking into it, and I was thinking, and I was learning that it was um, originated as a pagan thing, and it's not actually the day that Jesus was born. Jesus was more likely born in spring, and all of these things, all of these things, and um, and the the Christmas tree is. Um, a pagan symbol for fertility. Recently someone said it's um, to worship Nimrod um, and just the whole thing is just there's lots of uh, there's lots of darkness trying to grab hold of it and uh, so this kind of made me feel like I should be doing the old um, Jewish celebrations instead because they're more from our Lord and if this is pagan then I don't want anything to do with it and I went through all of this um, but the Lord really showed me through people and yeah through through both people showing me a lot of stuff is there uh, to not give Christ mass up to not give it away to the enemy that's what he wants. So, yeah, okay, maybe it's not the, the correct day or whatever, but it's the one time of year when many people even realise there is such God as Jesus, you know, and they aren't, the rest of the year, they no, don't even think about him. And that this one time of the year, there's nativity plays going on and all of this stuff. It's an amazing time to... Um, spread the gospel out there and uh, yeah another confirmation was when I was with, with Jehovah Witnesses and I felt the suppression if if I dare say it the cult where they don't preach the true gospel and how they don't celebrate Christmas and so it just made me think hmm the enemy really doesn't want us to have this um, wants to do everything it can to make it into something other than of Christ and so our job really is to hold on to Jesus, right? Um, and particularly in this holiday, you know, I don't see any harm in having a Christmas tree up and celebrating it, as long as my heart is correct um, with, with loving the Lord. And it's a beautiful time and excuse to talk about our Lord and to share the gospel of repentance for what we have done and Believing in our heart that Jesus is our Lord and confessing it with our mouth that he died and rose again for our sins to wash us in his blood so that we have a inheritance with him in the kingdom of God. That's what it's all about. It's about turning away from our old selves and carrying our cross and following our beautiful, beautiful Jesus and it's time to really, really celebrate that and not give that over to um, the enemy and hide away. Definitely not. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys that we can sometimes get a little bit caught up in all of the details and, and forget that really our sight needs to be on the Lord Jesus and our love for him and wanting to spread seeds for the kingdom of God. And that's what, that's what it's all about. So, yeah, celebrate, love the Lord, and share that love for the Lord with others. And, um, yeah, I love you guys so much. God bless. Bye.